Hey guys, it's Steve of Basketball with Steve. Today I want to talk about my NBA 2K17 wish list as I dunk with James Harden. This is me playing live, by the way. Um, but I know it's a little late, and you know it really doesn't make sense to do it now. But I just want to tell you guys what I would like to see. This isn't really for the developers, because I honestly doubt they care, because the game is probably already finished being made. Uh, but this is just what I want to see made into NBA 2K17. So let's first talk about my career in terms of my career, I want to see more post-game interviews. I want to see more interactions with my players. And, you know, I don't want to see the same old storyline where you come into the NBA as one of the top prospects and then out of nowhere you just complete garbage when you get to the NBA. Like, I don't want to see that. I want to see something different. Like, I want to come into the NBA as, like, is that another foul? Like, I want to come into the NBA as, like, LeBron or Melo, you know, like, top players as soon as they get in the league, you know, or D-Wade, you know, that's what I want to do. I, I, it gets kind of repetitive doing the same storyline for like the past few years, you know what I mean? So, oh, look at this crossover move. So that's what I want to see in my career. Everything else in my career is pretty well. Uh, it, it's really good uh, besides that. The VC system, I think everything's good. Another thing that I would like to see differently is instead of ranking up all... Um, Instead of ranking up all of the uh, different categories at the same time, like I would like to see how it used to be. I think it was like in 2K14 or 13 where you would do each individual thing separately, like inside shooting, three-point shooting, dribbling. Because let's say you just want to be a role player, like you want to be a shooter. So if you want to just be a shooter, you can't do that because you have to rank everything up along with that. Or well, let's say you just want to be a dribbler and a passer. You can't do that because you have to rank up everything else, you know? Or like you just want under, you can't, every player is pretty much the exact same. So when you go into my park, you have players that are like 7 foot tall that can do what a 6 foot 1 guy does. And I know there's players like that in real life, but, you know, not everyone wants to be an all-around superstar player. Like, sometimes you just want to be a shooter. You want to stand around on the court and catch and shoot. Like Ray Allen in, his, in the post-prime era, or like a Kyle Korver. You know, that's just my opinion. I know you may disagree with that, but I heard a lot of big, big YouTubers say that as well. Like, the Smooth dude, we heard. I already, I know, it's Chris Smooth. We heard Chris Smooth, Cash Nasty, you know what I mean? So, I would like to see the same thing. Now, in terms of gameplay, I think it's really good gameplay. The defense, they need to tone down the defense because the defense is unrealistic it's so unrealistic in terms of they know where you're going before you even do it because the computer you know it reads the buttons you're pressing or something it's it's weird like that it's you know it, it makes the game unfun and then on top of that they also need to still fix rebounding rebounding is still awful um but besides that let's see animations too like the computer will know what you're gonna do and then you'll have no control over what's going to happen to your player and then out of nowhere your player does a stupid animation and you can't do anything and then you have your teammates missing all of the shots while the other team they're making all of the shots and then I know it sounds like I'm complaining but I'm just trying to make the game better and then you know you have teammates leaving players wide open on defense for no reason they'll just drop off a player they'll pass it and now they'll make a wide open jump shot so things like that, you know, are I messed up. But besides that, I think the game is really, really good. Um, but my main thing that I really want to see differently in 2K17 is I would like to see situationals back. If I don't know if you guys remember situationals as well from like 2K9, 2K10 days. But what it was is like you can pick how much time is left on the clock, how much um, the score things like that and then you have to try and make an epic comeback like that was fun that's really fun instead of you know playing and then yada 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 things like that so that that's that was really really fun and I wish that game mode would come back and the other thing that I really want to talk about is the atmosphere of the game I feel like the game is really good but it's just lacking a great atmosphere and what I mean by that is like let's for instance if you guys don't know I'm a really big New York Knicks fan so what happens when someone hits a three sh uh, um, a three pointer in Madison Square Garden and they play for the Knicks? This is kind of weird the way I'm gonna say it, but they're like three point ball, Carmelo Anthony, like something like that. So instead of that, they'll just have three Carmelo, like you know that's what 2K does, and it's just like it's the same thing for almost every single arena, and it's just like okay, can you know can we have the announcers for each arena in the game? I don't think it's gonna be that hard, you know, to implement that in. 
You know what I mean? I don't think it's going to be that hard to put that in the game. And then the crowd as well. I would like to see realistic crowd reactions. Like, there's times where I'm beating a team by 10 points, and there's 30 seconds left. And, you know, the team, um, we're in their arena, and the, the team's fans, you know, they're cheering. Like, it, it's, it doesn't make sense. You know, why would the team be cheering? They are either be booing or they'll be leaving the stands, which they do leave sometimes in this game, but the majority of the time it's still packed out. You know, they're still cheering. And, you know, I just would like to see realistic crowd reactions. Like, if you dunk on someone's head, I want to see the crowd jumping up and down. I want to see your bench players jumping up and down. Like, that's what makes the game much more fun is the atmosphere. It's not just about the gameplay. The gameplay is pretty good. It needs a few improvements, what I talked about earlier. But, you know, the gameplay is pretty good. We just need, you know, the atmosphere to be better. We need music. We need, you know, you guys need to study what they do in each arena. Like, for example, in Cleveland, when they make a three-point shot, it's like, three, Kyrie. Or, like, in MSG, it's like, three-point ball, Carmelo, and Eddie. Like, things like that, you know? I, I know I sound a little weird doing that, but I'm just a basketball fan just like you guys. So, you know, if they put that in the game, I think it would be way more entertaining. Now, in terms of the commentators, sometimes you hear them repeating the exact same things. During the same exact game, like literally a minute later, they'll be talking about the same exact thing. Like I was playing, I don't remember what team I was playing against, but they were talking about Carmelo Anthony. And then literally, they're talking about how good of a uh, shooter he is or something like that, or how consistent he was throughout his career. And then literally two minutes later, the same quarter, they were talking about the same exact thing with the same exact dialogue, same exact emotion. Like it was the same exact script that they were, you know, saying. I just feel like they need to add more things to that. You know, I, I don't really care about the attire of the player. You know, I'm not the one that really cares about stuff like that. I know a lot of people do, but I just I just want the atmosphere to be better. I want the gameplay to be better. I think that's more important than worrying about attire for my part. You know, the the, the attire is amazing. The tattoos, the haircuts, the sneakers. We need some better haircuts in this game, though. Some of these haircuts are ridiculous. Okay, um, somebody don't uh, let me get started with these haircuts in this game, man. They're, kind of crazy but so yeah so again just to recap get rid of that unrealistic defense um get rid of those stupid animations also another thing i would like to talk about there are times where like i'll be i'll tell my player to, i'll command my player to do something with the joystick and the player won't do it for three seconds later like there'll be like a delay in what i'm telling my player to do and i'm not just talking about my player or my career i'm talking about if i'm playing online or if i'm just playing you know, uh, Houston versus Cleveland or New York versus Toronto, like something like that. Like there's sometimes there's delays. Like it, it's weird. There's delays and then it'll respond immediately. And it's all because of the animations in this game are kind of wacky. Um, but besides that, you know, I haven't really had any problems with connections. I don't know about you guys. Um, I've only disconnected once, and I, I think I only disconnected once because I think I got booted offline because some nerd that really cares about his win loss ratio or something like that. But again, like. I feel like the online is pretty decent. Maybe it needs improvement. I'm not really one that plays 2K online a lot. I'm more of like a my career player or like a my GM player. I play my park here and there, but I'm not like a big, big, you know, online player. But again, those are just my thoughts on um, who do I, uh, what do I think they need to do with 2K17. I know it's a little late for doing this, but again, you know, I just thought I'd tell you guys. I would like to hear what you guys think as well for 2K17. Um, but anyway, let me finish this dude DeRozan off with the dunk party. Look at that spin move by James Harden. Anyway, it's been Steve with Basketball with Steve. Thank you for watching.